Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Hayden Newberry Fishing. I'm Hayden Newberry. I travel around and fish pretty much the bass lakes that I want to fish around the country that I think will prep me for future tournaments. And I also, the, this past season, fished the Bassmaster Opens and previously the Toyota Series. And I just wanted to get into a topic tonight that really popped up in my head because just looking into next year, I kind of had dabbled that what they had on the roster for the opens next year and the Toyota series and truthfully at this point it's mid-December and I've put less thought into next tournament season as I have probably in the past four to five years I just I haven't even really thought about it much I absolutely knew that I wasn't going to fish the opens next year because I don't have the sponsorship dollars or just money if you don't have sponsorships you gotta have some type of money to fish them and I don't have that going in next year so the opens were out of the question um, unless I wanted to just fish a couple of them which that's pointless I the the payouts on those are so upside down that if you're fishing the opens to try to make money you you went the wrong direction so that's kind of what I want to get into I where my all my thought has been going into is this YouTube channel I truthfully next year I'm not worried about tournaments I would like to fish maybe some Toyota series tournaments or something like that just to fish a higher level event like that but there's not there's not money in it there's there's a lot of a lot of risk that goes in with it money wise that is pretty unnecessary um, the Toyota series even if you fish those you're not gonna you're not gonna make any kind, any kind of money and then if you qualify for the the invitationals the the great tournament series that replaced I guess now technically replaced the last FLW tour or what's what used to be that that you're not qualifying for anything there and then you got guys you got veterans dropping out of the Bass Pro Tour so like all you can hope is that four years down the road it's still there when you finally qualify for it so that's kind of what brought me into this topic is that if you want to make a career bass fishing if you want to have it be even some type of supplement income where you can justify spending a lot more time bass fishing it's evident more than ever now that you need to key in on the social media aspect of it you need to start a YouTube channel you need to have a successful YouTube channel you need to have any other thing that you can offer sponsors and then make money on your own doing and that requires a lot of time but tournaments require a lot of time <laughs> and you don't make money in tournaments the 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 guys that are fishing the opens right now aren't going into the opens to make money and and even the top 10 will barely have made money by the end of this year all those guys have sponsorships and to get into them now like the and they you know have talked about before that the it's over for the working man well your way in is not through continuing to fish tournaments the working man's way in previously wasn't through fishing tournaments it was through being sponsored and then fishing tournaments while being sponsored a lot of times that was where you got your exposure but you don't now it's through YouTube it's through Instagram it's through Facebook so it, it it it's just as over for the working man next year as it was this past year and the, the year before that you need something more you need a, a different type of income and that's kind of what led me into this is that really I, I haven't been thinking about next year because there's the it's it's just another way of really getting content things like that I enjoy fishing tournaments don't get me wrong at all but I feel like I get the same amount of I, I get I have a lot of fun in even small tournaments so I don't necessarily need to unless you know unless I maybe at by next year I have a sponsor that wants me to fish the Toyota series and would help with that then sure but it's just there's the you have way too many guys that are making a living fishing 
on the YouTube side of it. Now I've, I've finally made it to where my channel is monetized, which is awesome because I can actually start seeing some type of return for how much work I've put into this channel. But you look at, you know, fishing major tournaments, the, the Toyota Series Bassmaster Opens that I've done over the past few years, unless you qualify for the elites, and then once you qualify for the elites, then you need to put in some more money and hope that you don't lose it once you get there. So I've, I've put in just as much work on each one, I, I would say more work over the past few years in tournaments, and I feel like the the non-tournament thing, the social media side, is has a more promising end than the tournament side does currently. There's a lot of red flags that I feel like I'm seeing on the tournament side of things, people leaving to fish the opens from what's supposed to be one of the top tier tournament organizations is is a red flag. That's a huge red flag. There should be, if you're at, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're at the top of what tournament fishing should be, or even second to the top of what tournament fishing should be, you shouldn't see all these people dumping out to fish a, a tournament series where nine out of currently, there's 175, I think, 174, right around there, people that have entered the opens to try to make the elite series. That would sound to a normal person like terribly scary odds. It's like, oh, you're, if, 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 I guess what I'm getting at is if it's the tournament that is keeping your career afloat, not the social media side, then why would you leave a tournament organization to possibly so, you know, risk your career to fish the opens? It's, that's because the tournaments are irrelevant in the situation. They're, they just want to fish the other tour, but the, their career isn't necessarily on the line. And not to say that, sure, you know, if you did terrible and all of it, then then your career is going to be on the line anyway. But that's what I mean is that they're getting their money from somewhere else. The, the tournaments in these situations are irrelevant. Not, and not completely irrelevant, but not... <laughs> it's just, it's just, I, I don't know exactly how to say it, which I think I'm saying it, but... If you look at what people are doing, their money's not coming from the tournaments. And I can tell you from experience that, no, your money doesn't come from the tournaments. It comes from elsewhere. If you're, you don't have money coming from elsewhere, you can qualify for the elites. You're going to go broke. That's just how it works. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope I got my point across there from jumping around on everything. But social media is the way to go. That's the future of bass fishing, in my opinion. And that's what my focus is going to be on more so than tournaments moving forward, I think. But... Thanks for watching the video, guys.